We won't stop being sick until we stop making ourselves sick. Mm. Because, <clears throat> because there is a point <clears throat> where even the most universal government health program can't help you. They can't outlaw unhealthy food or alcohol or cigarettes. Just pot, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you see, the government isn't your nanny. They're your dealer. <laughs> and they subsidize illness in America. Mm. They have to. There's too much money in it. You see, there's no money in healthy people. And there's no money in dead people. The money is in the middle. People who are alive, sort of. <laughs> but with one or more chronic conditions that puts them in need of Celebrex or Nasonex or Valtrex or Lunesta... Fifty years ago, children didn't even get type 2 diabetes. Now, it's an emerging epidemic, as are a long list of ailments, which used to be rare and have now been mainstreamed. <laughs> Things like asthma and autism and acid reflux and arthritis, allergies, adult acne, attention deficit disorder. And that's just the A's. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat>